Well, good evening, uh, YouTube. I'm uh, William Brantley, uh, reporting from uh, South Jackson, Tennessee, or Bemis, Tennessee, uh, live, by the way, and I'm ready to share with you today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast uh, for the next uh, few days uh, momentarily. Uh, it was a cloudy day starting off today. We had a little rain early this morning, but finally the sun popped out around 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon. It turned out to be a gorgeous uh, mid-afternoon and evening, and it's already getting kind of cool out there tonight. <laughs> and that's going to continue for tonight and tomorrow. It's going to be a little cool tomorrow, at least tomorrow morning, but it's going to warm up nicely tomorrow afternoon. And then we're back into the cloudy conditions by Thursday, at least looking like at this point <clears throat> uh, today's climate data as of uh well 5 p.m well even now the skies are still clear and the temperature was 48 degrees at uh, 5 p.m and as of 6 30 it's down to 44 degrees here in the bemis area right now and uh that is the low for the day so far 44 degrees uh, the midnight temperature will likely be the 24-hour low for the day, which should be, should be around 37, 38 degrees at about that time. But in the meantime, it's, uh, like I said, 44 degrees at the moment. Today's high did get up to 80. Uh, <laughs> I wish it would get it. It would be some 80s before too long, or maybe a couple of months at least away. Uh, 58 degrees is what I meant to say uh, was today's high. And uh, I've had uh, 63 hundredths of an inch of rainfall here since midnight. Now, since Sunday, I've had uh, about uh, 3.10 inches of rain uh, for, the, for the storm total. Uh, 63 hundredths today. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. 1.96 inches uh, yesterday. And uh, 45 hundredths of an inch Sunday, if you want to break it all down there. It, that comes up to about 3.10 inches uh, since Sunday for the rainfall total. Some locations north of Jackson had even higher amounts than that. Um, but that's the way it happens sometimes. All the uh, uh, alerts have now ceased, of course. There are none valid at the moment. Uh, for any part of the Mid-South. <clears throat> the highest wind gust today, by the way, was uh, 37 miles per hour, and that occurred at 10.02 a.m. this morning. Uh, the lowest uh, humidity today was 50% at 5 p.m. The highest was 100% at 12 and 2 a.m. The lowest barometric pressure was 29.71 inches, and that occurred at 5 a.m., while the highest was 30.07 inches, and that occurred at 5 p.m. Lowest dew point temperature today was 30 degrees at 5 p.m., while the highest was 57 degrees and occurred at 12 a.m. Today's records for February the 12th, hottest high would be 75 degrees and 1961. The coldest high would be 21 degrees and 1988 while the warmest low would be 52 degrees, and that happened in 1950, while the coldest low would be 4, and that happened in 1988. Uh, rainfall record for the day would be 1.61 inches, and that fell in 1965, while the snowfall record would be 3 inches back in 1971. Alrighty, that pretty much concludes the basic climate summary uh, for the evening. Let me show you a few graph items uh, for this evening. Uh, show you the uh, radar, which actually shows some good news. <laughs> the rain, of course, is gone. The rain's been gone since about 5 o'clock uh, this morning for at least the Jackson area anyways. It's well over there in East Tennessee now and moving eastward uh, and all to, to give you an idea. It's clear here in our area, nothing nearby. It's all over here and uh, like I said, I'm actually getting ready to get out of Tennessee. The rain is. Let me move it over just a little bit more so you can see it a little bit better. 
Uh, it's over there in uh, uh, Johnson City, Tennessee. It's just about to clear there now. It's moving into North Carolina, like I said. It's not as heavy over there as it has been back over in this direction, except a little to the north up toward West Virginia and Virginia area. And it's fixing to start raining over there in Raleigh, North Carolina. But I don't think they're going to get as much rain in that part of the country as what we did over here in West Tennessee and all. Okay, uh, back over to us, or close by us at least. Um, well, it doesn't look like a, like a whole lot's going on. Uh, see, is there anything going on to our north? Uh, the usual snow is, is taking place up around the Great Lakes. Let me get you a little view of that real quick. Up in Indiana, Illinois, uh, Michigan, and uh, Chicago, of course, it's snowing. Snowing over Lake Michigan pretty good. And up in this area here. And uh, there's more rain up there toward Cleveland, Ohio, and sleet once you get across the lakes into Canada. And I believe it's pretty good heavy snow up there, the looks of the radar here, all the way up into Canada there. And that's, that's where the snow is, in case you're wondering. Nowhere nearby us. And it's not even none in Missouri tonight. <laughs> I bet they've been proud of that that they've been... Uh, uh, precipitation free up in that state and as well as Illinois and Indiana with the exception of the snow I just showed you. Alrighty, uh, let's move on to uh, the satellite picture. Good clear, uh, good, good, good clear satellite this evening in West Tennessee. The skies are clearing pretty good. A good and clear over in Arkansas and Missouri. Uh, let me look up look at the little rock real quick and show you that one. And uh, let's see how far west the Cleary line is. It's way on out there. Even beyond, well, it looks like a little bit trying to come into Oklahoma. Just a little bit. That probably died down some before too long. Otherwise, it's good and clear to our west, and we're going to be enjoying that for at least one good day. Anyways. All right, uh, let's move on to the national weather map for this evening. And it was made out as of about, oh, 3.50 a.m. Uh, well, wait a minute. Make sure I've got the right one here. That's today's map. I'm sorry. I had it on tomorrow's accidentally. <laughs> I knew that time one right. Uh, made out about 4 p.m. this afternoon. And it shows low pressures uh, off to our east. The flooding threat is still over in East Tennessee along the Appalachian Mountains where we saw that rain leaving out of Tennessee soon. It's over moving into uh, North Carolina, but again, it's going to be lighter over there, not quite as heavy. And as you see, the precipitation to our north, the snow's not quite as intense as it was up toward the Great Lakes as it has been the last few days, except the area over there that we saw in Michigan a while ago. And still a little freezing rain expected up in New England and a little snow on up there north of there in the state of Maine. Out west, uh, <clears throat> a little a few pockets of snow is out Pacific Northwest still expected, especially uh, in the mountains of, of Nevada and California and Oregon. And other than that, there's really not a whole lot going on. It's finally trying to clear up and dry up a little bit. And even in a good portion of the U.S. All right, uh, let's look at Wednesday morning's forecast na nationally. That's the one I just looked at. It was it's for about 3:50 a.m. tomorrow morning. Most of the nation is fairly dry, good, except for a little snow out west, a little flooding over here in California along the coastline, Los Angeles area and San Francisco area and uh, a few pockets of snow up in the northeast part of the country and uh, way on up into Maine and Canada. And the flooding threat uh, east of us is gone. That's uh, disappeared. That's why I think the rain's going to be less intense in the Carolinas tonight and, uh, and that, than what it was uh, in our area the past couple of days. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's look at Thursday morning's forecast map. As of, uh, oh, about uh, 4, 4 a.m. Thursday morning, 
Even I, I really think the rain's going to hold off the Thursday night here in Jackson. But they do have an, an area of possible rain on Thursday. But uh, it looks like we're close to the borderline of it here in Jackson. But I think it's going to hold off the Thursday night here. Uh, I'll give you those details a little bit more specific in just a moment. All right, let's look at the rest of the country. The usual areas of precipitation. It's lighter than what it has been. And not, not, no, not a whole lot of snow expected by Thursday morning uh, in the U.S. like it, ha it has been. Alrighty, let's look at the map again for uh, Thursday morning. Let me branch it out so you can get the whole nation at one time here. Alright. Now I'll go ahead and go on to the Pacific forecast. I know the one that I normally read out to you. And let me see if I can get that to where I can do that. I don't get too far over. I don't want to turn the camera around so I can read it to you. And I'll just read two or three days or so off to you. And that'll be it for this evening. Alright, uh, looks like uh, mostly fair skies for the rest of tonight in the Jackson area. It might be just a little fair skies over toward the Tennessee River. And, and points east, but generally speaking, it's going to be fair for the rest of the night on into tomorrow. It's going to be mostly clear tomorrow. The uh, moon will be setting tonight at uh, 12 24 a.m. tomorrow morning, and the first quarter moon phase is complete tonight. It'll be mostly clear tomorrow, like I mentioned. Uh, the temperature tomorrow, uh, today's low, by the way, will probably be about 37 degrees at midnight. That's what it's expected to be at midnight. And we know at the moment it's 44 degrees. But it should drop on down to 37 by midnight. All right, uh, tomorrow morning's low should be around 32. That's a little cold, but it's going to warm up very nicely to about 55 degrees tomorrow. We'll have west winds at about uh, oh, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Not all that strong. Sun rises at 6.44 a.m. and sets at 5.35 p.m. The moon will be rising tomorrow morning at 11.45 a.m. and be setting at 12.57 a.m. Thursday morning. Speaking of Thursday, uh, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Uh, we will be back to mostly cloudy skies by then, starting around 2 or 3 o'clock Thursday morning. And then there'll be a, a small 40% chance of a few showers around the area by Thursday night, probably. And most of the day should be okay, though. Temperature's not too bad. 42 for a low Thursday morning and a high of 60. Not really bad for the middle of February. Uh, south winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Be a little windy on that day. The sun comes up at 6.43 and sets at 5.36, in case you'd like to know that part. And on Friday, continued mostly cloudy with a 90% uh, chance of more showers moving in around noon on Friday. Continued throughout the day. Lower 48 and high 53 with north winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And the weekend looks so-so, eh, uh, sort of the average temperatures. Mostly cloudy both days, Saturday and Sunday, with a 50% chance of some showers by noon on Saturday. Lower 33, high of 50, with north winds of 10 to 20. Continued mostly cloudy on Sunday, low of 39, high of uh, 50, with north winds of 10 to 20 miles per hour. And I believe I'm going to let it go with that for this evening. Uh, again, I hope you have a very pleasant evening and a beautiful Wednesday coming up tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine and fairly decent temperatures. Again, a low of 32, high of 55 tomorrow with mostly clear skies. And I hope to talk to you again uh, tomorrow night. And until then, uh, thank you for watching and viewing, as always, and for subscribing. And uh, we'll talk to you later. God bless.